right, testing, testing. Right, I need to switch over to stream title and so on. So let's quickly do that. All right, so hopefully, right, I noticed that I can't actually move the window the Turing test is in, which is a bit shit, really. Let me see if quitting and reopening it helps. There we go. So, yeah, here's the Turing test, everyone. Hopefully, this works well. Did I advertise that I'm changing over? Nah. I mean... There we go. Let's just play around with the settings first. Audio's fine. This way. Gameplay. Streaming load? Spacebar, fire, alt, fire, use. Walk is. A, okay, right? Right, that looks good. Let's go. So, while this is loading, I'm going to go get water. Right, I'm back just in time to see this. Morning, Eva. I thought I turned on subtitles. Your wake -up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost things. Oh, huh. weird. Contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Oh, we can't pick it up and throw it on the floor. Yeah. Then again, we are inside a space station. If anything went wrong, but... If anyone thing went wrong, the shards would just go flying everywhere. I can't pick this fan up. Then again, this is Talos. Right, what's this? Ava Turing. Any relation to Alan Turing? Hmm. 250 May 13. Right. Can someone please check for me if that date turns out to be a Friday? Why- why is the camera bobbing in and out? Hold on. 
Hold on. Can I turn off the head bob? User error. It, it's a Monday. Well, ah, oh, that's disappointing. Come on. So. Hold on. So that guy was... Was killed the day before we woke up. Hmm. The other three people here were were woken up seven-ish years ago. Also, it's a bit strange that this person's name is User Error. I mean, there is fine. There was that one per person in that one video game who said I am Error, but you know. Wait, two four four three. Did it say? Hold on, hold on. So, what? So these people are scheduled to be awakened in the future? Who knows, who knows. Also, where it said ID 404 not found, I'm surprised they're still using HTTP there. I mean, I guess old systems die hard or something. The texts just take a while to load, they don't they? EMT. It's on the side. Where? This? Oh, this? Okay. We are going to take a land. Have said gone. Make your way to the docking station. Right. The, this head bob is really screwing with me. Isn't there a way to turn that off? Post process? I genuinely don't know if it's under either of these. But let's turn shadows onto medium. Yeah, seriously, th this. Uh... Yes, enjoy your motion sickness indeed. If I end up ending this stream early like I did with Talos Principle, you'll know why. Current ship status is as following recommend addressing the power fluctuation before cryostasis. Uh huh. Mm. Right, so I'm assuming that we start from the bottom upwards or from the top downwards. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it was only the but only uh Talos principle has managed to give me motion sickness so far. Although, with this game's ridiculous head bob, this one might as well. Oh, what? They just retract the ladder. Why? What's the ship status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa Lander is ready to launch. Yes, I have played Minecraft. Minecraft hasn't given me motion sickness.
There's nothing out here. Hey, more motion sickness. Anyway, where am I? No. Maybe if we break the glass, it'll suck us out into space. What, what just happened? Did the lighting all change? Oh. Right. These lights are blinking on and off for whatever reason. No, really, why is everything just gone dark there? Is it because I'm looking directly at light? Honestly, I genuinely don't understand why they do that in 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 high budget games now. It, it's stupid. You know, if I'm if I'm trying to look at something, if I'm trying to look at something, something, I don't expect it Retro? to suddenly change my brightness. Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcon? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Seven. Funny how she has to manually do all of those Engage checks instead of just asking when in Tom. Is are we good to go? Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. If I go to alarm, it looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Favorite board game. Go. Amazing. Those keypads don't have the letter Z on them. Hey, full retrograde promotion? I'm afraid I don't understand that reference. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. It's a bit of a shame Opa doesn't mean anything rude, or else I'd, be, I'd make a joke about Uranus as well. But, that having been said though, I don't actually pronounce it Uranus, I actually pronounce it Uranus. But, maybe that's just me. Anyway, I'm just going to head off in this direction, and wait for the invisible wa- oh. Oh. Okay. Station with the hub- oh right, yes, of course. Yeah, that, yeah. How long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should get inside. A couple of hours isn't too bad. Oh great, more loading screen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, let's play Turing test and see how it compares to Spectrum. Mean? The base was originally not like I... as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magula. It appears the ground team have manipulated. Oh, finally, well, thank you, main GI. The base thank was you. Built initially by machines. An empty room. What's the mine. point of this? <sighs> first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Can't we holster the gun and hold Turing this with one hand when climb the ladder of the other? Humans and machines oh well. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. 
a combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Why do I need to hold E Perhaps there? Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. That's a really shit method of toggling a lever. Like, just press E! Unless the, we're, you're going to introduce multi-stage levers later, but then why? This is fucking stupid. That is really one of the worst controls for flick a switch I've ever seen. Do you know the ground team's location? Hold on. Let me switch around these controls. The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Mm. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. I thought I switched around my controls there. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Don't know what's up here. Let's take a look. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Ah. I still need 23 more orbs to get that. Seriously? 23. Could I have carried some orbs out there? Doubt it. So yeah, Cube 2, I think I plan on streaming it. I don't know if it'll be any good though. Right, so it looks like we need another orb somewhere, wherever that somewhere may be. Doesn't seem to be anywhere though. Oh.
Yep, I can't even take anything through here, huh? Well... This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. I am two. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. That, that's not even a view of ju oh planetarium. What? This is the command center. No, it's and clearly says planetarium, deck. not command center. It's just the microscope, and not one of the fancy ones you might actually see in a real laboratory. The uh, laboratory, laboratory, fuck it. Who knows? Who knows? Right, right, what's this? Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are. February you have added Earth. subtitles for these audio Standing logs. On Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Funny how all three of these waveforms end in the exact same way. And yet, I'm assuming they don't all end in the exact same words. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you what's wrong? Mikhail? Are you listening? Am Are I asking to too hear? many questions? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you able to hear? Are you deaf? You stupid, brainless, idiot, Mikhail. What's wrong? Honestly, Tom's starting to sound like quite a bit of a dick. I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Felchie are having trouble making enough clones. 
gonna run out of necessary resources to continue studying organism 119. They're calling for a grounding of all your robot transports until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's rather drastic. Uh, hello, I am pressing E here. What's wrong, Mikhail? What's wrong? Should I stop talking to you in English and try to speak in R Russian? I I believe the only uh, sentence I know of Russian is Ya Mashinu, which I believe it means I am a machine. Kind of appropriate for this. That, that having been said, it could well be the case that... You idiot! Why the hell would you pick up a blank ream of paper? It's blank! Digital audio broadcasting, is this a radio? That was... These loading screens are just really sudden. They just jump out at you like... Fuck. Wow, I'm tired. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. He was involved in an accident. Take a more direct way to the ground team. Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa.
Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food store, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Well, no shit. But because if they don't survive, then their, then their lifetimes just are shorter. That that's literally it. You know, set a baby on fire; it'll be warm for the rest of its life. I uh, may have mangled that. A anyway. Point is, great job be- uh, great job talk, uh, doing a tautology there. I am clearly tired enough to not be able to talk about- talk very well. Uh. Right, what is it that controls this? Oh, that. Uh, okay. You want to eat? We'll solve some puzzles first. My purpose as the overseer of this mission. Oh great, a giant button. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Fancy that, this thing is somehow heavy enough to weigh down this entire pressure pad. And yet, somehow light enough to get kicked by my foot. say no you're gonna make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us interestingly I have a twin on earth his name is Michael the ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself there is a simulation of this mission on earth running at all times to check my expert systems naturally as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission.
conversation. Most certainly, my love. I can't... How about an intelligible one at least? Are you saying that you didn't stand much? What the? Convinced you're a human, I think you might be a robot. I'm fairly sure that... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. These are pressed, it makes no difference. This is amazing. You know, that's actually kind of scary. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I had been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Okay, I can't crush myself. That's good to know. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. Mm -hmm. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine, one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? What's this thing lead to? Oh cool. Drop down through here. What is this?
the Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Hmm. Wait, there's a window here. But yeah, there's one problem with the Chinese room as an analogy. I actually am a native Chinese speaker. This is the cruise quarters. It looks abandoned. WC, right, I'm going to use the toilet for a moment. Notice, I do it. But why is he in the toilet? Okay, maybe I should won't use the toilet then. Uh, let's see. Hello, can, can I open this? At all? Don't touch, this is the fifth time. You can't tell me what to do. Or rather, you can tell me what to do. But, doesn't mean I'll follow it. Well, what have we got here? Tom Touch OS. What brand of pencil is that? this Ah, good. Baseball bat. Time to go ham. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so apparently these three sheets of paper are stuck on a piece of glass or something because they're rotating together. I don't know who these people are. Who are you? So you're Chris McLean. See, I don't understand how people are so patriotic. Really is all? Can someone look up what that's for, by the way? But yeah, I don't understand how someone, uh, how people are so patriotic, so as to actually, uh, so as to actually hang up a flag. Because you know, I'm not that patriotic. I don't have a flag of Hong Kong hung up in my room. Dr. Sarah Brooks' prized shovel. And we're getting it grabbing with our fingers. Big 
lateral sclerosis. What, ALS? Isn't that what Stephen Hawking had? So it looks like we've been paid by Ashiyama Industries. Apparently, more than one person here has ALS. Do they all have ALS? So what's the message here? Don't do drugs except when you need to do drugs? Huh. He's an artist. Uh vanishing ghost bottle well, what does that say morphine Clean out your mug for fuck's sake! Right, now the question is with this Rubik's Cube... It has two blue centers. Really? Really? Two blue centers! And two green centers! The hell? Wow, best Rubik's Cube ever. It doesn't have any yellow or red centers. Which, which idiot made this Rubik's Cube asset? Come on! Complete fucking garbage this is. That 
That is really badly photoshopped. Oh hey, oh hey Patrick. But yeah, this one, this image, you can tell it's just so badly photoshopped. He has another Rubik's Cube, it's slightly more scrambled. Actually, I think this is the same scramble, just the top face has been turned a little. Well, the blue-blue edge isn't the problem. The problem is that it also has yellow and red squares on it, but not yellow and red centers. And it also doesn't have a green-green edge, which is another thing. Well, this isn't the right time according to my computer. What's the brand of watch here? Molex? Isn't Molex a semiconductor factory or something? Oh, right, yes, the keyboard, of course. Oh, well, that's interesting. That shift key is a... That shift key on the left is short. I mean, they've got all the letter keys in the right spaces, mostly. Oh, dear, they're using one of those... They're using a UK keyboard. Oh boy. That explains... That explains the British accent. So this person just has a violin. He too is taking Ridizol. Motion sickness relief. Wow, if only I had a box of that right here! Yeah, just, just put some motion sickness relief tablets in the game. Remind me what I haven't got. Right. I'm going to use the actual toilet now.
Right, I'm back. Let's uh, continue. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. What is this? Since mankind first Whoa. entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of Our box teleportation all system, that more like. Performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. God damn it! No, don't you go flying all over the place, you box. I... yeah. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa, as the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes. It takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Don't okay, give me that! You know how to teleport boxes! Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated in Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Is it possible for me to get that, actually? It might not be, or it might be. I can't me tell. Hmm. Okay, looks like I do need to get this guy after all. Wait, there's the timer. No, it's not. Oh wait, what am I doing?
Can I shoot through these? No, I can't. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you sold. It required you to throw a box through a window. Was that the first puzzle or was it a different puzzle? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. I will say that the philosophy presented here isn't as bad as in the Talos principle. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every oh, organism. Oh, I see. It could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, Nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. He says that, while the rest of the game refers to a symbiotic relationship between a virus and an organism. Instructed? Do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a created. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. I wonder what this is. Is it? Oh, I genuinely wouldn't know. What 
What is this? What was the point of this? Oh, I see. Hmm. Although, if that's the case, then... That means that, I, that we actually want this cream. Huh. Alright. I see how it is, you bamboozler. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Hmm. 
I mean, I now have two extra balls. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. Hmm. 
I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Sorry, why have you put ENTER on the same row as P? <sighs> there aren't any numbers on this keyboard either. And yet there are function keys. At least this mug's clean. What the hell is this gizmo? That's a stand love. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why people call them Stanley knives. Because usually we just say box cutter. Mining laser spelled with a Z, huh? What's this? This is a chip reader or something. I was planning on stopping at this loading screen, so uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue the rest of this tomorrow. So far it's not been too bad.
So yeah, so far stuff hasn't been too bad. I guess I'll just end the stream here. So yeah, bye everyone for now. <laughs>